All of you children are so fortunate in this day and time that the alignment has been set up for you. The beacons are being put in place. The runway, for lack of a better word. A way for them to know by the signs in the sky where you are. The same way the pyramids were set up by Slipperu, Sun, Kupu, aligned with the Orion star constellation, the Orion belt, just above Cyrus star constellation from whence you came. The alignment on Earth must be set up again in order for the statement made by that man Jesus thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven so we must duplicate the stars of the heaven that the kingdom what is a kingdom is there a kingdom without people is there a kingdom without a king? So Jesus said, Christian, thy kingdom come. He asked that the kingdom from there come to earth and be set up on earth as it is in And as we look up into the heavens, we see the Orion star constellation. Our first duty is to bring it down out of the heavens to earth in the beacon of the Orion Belt Three Pyramids. Then will the elders look down and say, there's my children, let's go down and redeem them. They have been pawned into the hands of mischief makers. But before they come, Zizan, the earth must be shaken with a great shock. Fear of the Most High must be put back into the hearts of all human beings. The self-righteous, the non-believers, you watch them every day on television. They didn't care about the day and time. They was concerned about that nine to five, that job, that vacation, fixing up their house, getting their car, getting their kids in college, getting a good education. Nobody on the world on this planet was caring any longer. So man and woman and beast had to be brought back to the realization that there are powers in the universe. One of them is simply called a tornado. You know who controls the tornado? The woman controls the tornado. She stirs the pot of beans. And if you look over your mother, sister, wife, or daughter's shoulder while she's cooking, you see she stirs and she creates a tornado in the pot. You see, the forces work together in gender. She gets the stirring. And then she tastes it. Nah. <laughs> what am I going to say? Nah. Ain't ready yet. Maybe it needs a little more salt. A little more pepper. Oh, overdid it. <laughs>
and create these tornadoes that are picking up people's houses and cars and trucks and toppling bridges. All those self-righteous people on the planet who think that they're Jesus is going to come out of the sky for them or that their Allah is going to save them or Yahweh are finding that they're standing on television on top of the roof of a house holding a wet dog. I mention that for a reason. A wet dog that they give more love to them than other human beings. Dogs they set up hotels for. Dogs they send to get groomed. Dogs that they're feeding steaks while other humans in their neighborhoods are starving to death. So, mother, whip them up a little group. And they're standing up on their houses on the roof saying, I don't know what I'm going to do now. Everything I had. See, look, there it is, going down the road. I saw my next door neighbor's house went that way. The lady around the corner, she didn't make it. You know what's happening around the world now? When you hear a tornado, you go, uh oh. When you hear rain, you think flood. Right? A fear of nature. Hey, y'all. The most sophisticated military weaponry in the world couldn't help none of those folks with them floods. The war of the world is on. People are being reminded that you ain't as bad as you think you are. ceremony in our stuff <laughs> where the men are the sons of the night as the women are the daughters of the day. A little backwards from Islam, huh, with them is vice versa with this so such an illusion. So It doesn't mean women can't participate, but we don't have babies, and we ain't volunteering. At least I don't think y'all. And we will play the drum from 12 o'clock midnight until sunrise, when Tafu prayer will go on here. Does any man have the time? No, we got some schedule to keep. I know about that CP time. Come on. Ten to ten forty. Thank you. Well, I don't know how long you want me to stay here, but at, at eleven forty-five, we have fireworks, which should take us to twelve. Upon which we will light up on that side with the drums. We, we know that the weather, the night weather, is going to take the tone down. The drum that is supposed to be sitting up there, you know, the devil gets busy. Came in from Africa. Sisters worked hard to get it in, six feet. And they kept it in Kennedy Airport because it came from Africa that had to be sprayed. I understand that. If you know the Ebola, you want them to spray everything that comes from everywhere. I ain't have no problem with it. But we got together, the brothers here, and made large enough drums for us to keep the heartbeat going all night. They may not have the sound you want today, next time around maybe, but all the men, that's planned to be a part of the ceremony, and I can't believe that all of y'all are going to make it. But those that do will line up at a certain point around the corner near the, lot, near the staircase so that we can all at least beat the drum. Those who want to participate in becoming protectors of the night. 
protect these little women and the children. That they protect us by day. We will start that right after the fireworks. All the brothers who want to be a part, let me see in hands. Understand that if you don't make it to the drum, either you fell asleep before sunrise or just too many people to get to that drum as we all just went boom with one beach. And you understand? Is there anything else y'all want to talk to me about before they start the fireworks at uh, 11.45? I'm going to tell you something else. Somebody up there, a family of people, really love you. They didn't send me from the east here a whole lot bird. A whole lot bird. We've been lost here for a long time. I watch the media, I'm watching movies that these people are creating, like MIP, Men in Black, Independence Day, where some people want to blow up the president's house and change the president around. Other fools go up on the building and get zapped. A rival where people or creatures who look like people snap their legs backwards. What's that on Mars? Attack with little green iridescent creatures and android women just zap up the government. Big other men where they seem to be looking right over our shoulder. And I see a lot of anger on the part of people in Hollywood. However, our government won't concentrate on how much this man has to hate the president to create a movie where he blows up the president, kills his wife, blows up the White House, blows up the city, takes old buses and cars down the streets. You understand? makes desolate whole parts of the world. Whoever wrote that movie, now that is a dangerous individual. That is an angry man or woman. That person needs an ass witness. Because that person is being allowed to become rich in America by making movies in America on how to destroy the government and the White House and he thinks destruction but he passes himself off as a producer that's the devil for a man to go all the way out to make a movie shooting in Mexico and make like this in Puerto Rico where does this really exist and speak about cloning and duplicating with the intentions of undermining people on the planet and taking over. Whoever wrote that movie, Arrival, is a dangerous person.